Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our very first virtual kids concert, a concert in your kitchen. My name is Andrew Crust, and I am the assistant conductor of the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. Hi, I'm Karen, and I play violin in the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. Now that the musicians are staying home, we're still making a ton of music. In your house, you can find lots of things to make music with, especially here in the kitchen. Vancouver Symphony Orchestra has created a concert program full of exciting new things for you today. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, the flavors are developing. Today, we're going to hear some great music, make some fun instruments together, and you're even going to have a chance to play along right from your own house. But first, let's go have a look and see what our music director, Otto Tausk, is cooking up. Hello, Maestro Tausk, how are you? Oh, I'll be doing much better once I've had my morning coffee. What are you cooking? Oh, just some uh, symphonic dances from West Side Story, but with lots of strings. Mmm, nice and stringy. That should be just about ready. What do you think? I think it's going to be amazing. Okay, everybody, uh, let's go check in on some of our musicians. Our first performers this morning are principal flute Christy Reside, violinist Rebecca Whitling, and their son Elliot, who will be playing the cello. Elliot? I don't think there's an Elliot in the Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. That's right, there's not. But that's the cool thing about this virtual concert. We can invite kids to join in. We can hear what kids are saying and also what they play. Let's go catch up with Elliot. Hi, Elliot. Thank you for joining us. It's so good to see you. Um, I heard you're going to play for us. What are you going to play for us today? I'm going to play James Bond for you James today. Bond? James Bond the spy? Like spy music? Yes. Oh, my gosh. Um, well, what do you think about when you play spy music? I think it's really energetic and uh, gets, it kind of gets my nerves on end. Yeah. It's exciting music to play? Yeah. Awesome. And so you play the cello in this trio. What kind of role does your cello play in, in putting this music together? Um, I, we all basically do the same part, just at different times. So you sort of take turns with it. Yeah. Very cooperative. That sounds awesome. So if your cello was like a spy gadget, what kind of special things do you think it could do? Um, a couple bulletproof coatings and um, maybe a sedative pin in the end pin. <laughs> a sedative to knock the, the other people out? Yep. <laughs> that sounds cool. Do they, do they ever actually use a cello in a James Bond movie? I think in Living Daylights, they use a cello as a bulletproof vest, not wearing it, but just holding it up and sliding down a mountain on a cello case. Well, Elliot, I cannot wait to hear this and to hear you play. Let's listen.
want to be a spy hmm. or a cellist or a spy who plays the cello. Yeah. Come on, let's go spy on someone I know who makes the coolest sounds. The VSO's principal percussionist, Bern Griffiths. But wait, before we go, does everybody know what a percussionist is? A percussionist is a musician who plays instruments that you hit or scrape or shake. They make the best sounds. Come on, let's go see what Vern's up to. Hi, Karen, and hi, everybody. My name's Vern, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I've been cooking up a piece called Kitchen Concerto. We're going to play it as the big grand finale at the end of the concert. And we're going to ask you to play along with the amazing Vancouver Symphony Orchestra. And you'll be playing on instruments that you can find in your kitchen. So let's start by having you find some pots and pans and some cardboard boxes and whatever you can find that sounds good. Well, wait, there's a whole list of things. Oh, there's the list. Great. Okay, everyone, it's time to go gather your instruments. We're going to play some fun music and we'll meet you right back here in just a minute. Okay, did you gather a bunch of instruments around you now? That's great. An empty pop can. Well, I'll tell you about that one later. Now, I want you to grab your chopsticks, or if you don't have chopsticks, you could just grab whatever will work instead. But take your chopsticks and just sort of tap around the instruments that you've got here. And see the sounds that you have. Have you got some short sounds like have you got some longer sounds like hmm have you got some high sounds and low sounds like let's see if we can find our highest sound ah oh, i think i think mine is this measuring cup like this can you play ping 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 your turn ping ping that's good how about bam bam if we find some low drummy sounds like this bam bam your turn bam bam cool so ping ping Bam, bam. What about if we play a couple of frying pans back and forth like this? Can you play that? Here, play along with Chandi. She's got it down. All right. That's good. So we've got ping, ping. We've got bam, bam. We'll call this high-low, back and forth between two different instruments. Okay, have you got all you need? So gather them around you, and I'll be back in a little bit to tell you more about Kitchen Concerto. Next, we get to meet another musical VSO family, the Goddards. Marcus Goddard is the VSO's associate principal trumpet, and he's also an award-winning composer. His wife, Angie, is a violinist. They will join their two daughters, Jasmine and Jordana, to perform a piece by Handel. Jasmine plays the guitar and piano and is a songwriter, and Jordana is a soprano, a singer who can sing very high. Let's go. Hi guys, it's great to see you. Hi! You too. So we're really excited to talk about this piece you're going to play with us, but first question I have to ask you is, what is it like having two professional musicians as parents? I think it's really valuable because um, we get to see what their lives are like as uh, professionals. And um, as an aspiring musician, I really like to know what's coming in my life, even though, um, even though it's totally uh, a new thing and it's very different for every person. Great. And um, you know, you're gonna, so you're gonna play this piece for us up next. What is it called? What's it all about? It's, um, it's called Eternal Source of Light Divine by Handel. And um, so originally it was, it's actually a birthday song. Um, and you may not hear the lyrics much because um, the singer is singing in a very high range, but um, it's actually in English. And um, it's actually really, the, the lyrics are pretty positive because it's a birthday song, mm -hmm. of course. And um, 
yeah, I think it's a, a it's a nice um, song for a time like this because uh, when we can't go out much, it's nice to be with your family and to hear some positive music. Oh, mm -hmm. So last question before we hear some of this music. Do you have any advice for any of those young people out there who want to be musicians or maybe who want to uh, make music with their family? I think it's really valuable to uh, keep patience in mind and you have to be really kind and loving to your brothers and sisters or your parents um, because everyone is trying their very best and um, to just know that yeah. they're doing well. <laughs> That's great. Always good advice. Well, thank you guys. And we're going to listen to your music here in one sec. Thanks a lot. Right. Thanks so much. Bye. Okay, we're just about ready to hear Handel's Eternal Source of Light Divine, performed by the Goddard family. Usually, we all play together, and there are over 70 musicians on stage. In a piece like this, there are just four musicians, so you can really hear each one of them, and notice how the different parts are separate, but together, all at the same time. You could even try and draw the different parts you hear using four different colors, like my friend Helen did. See? Helen followed the lines of the melodies using a different color for each instrument. The lines go up and down with the music. I'm going to try that, and I might also draw some hearts if there's a part of the music that is especially beautiful. Enjoy. Thank you, Marcus, Angie, Jordana, and Jasmine for that lovely performance. Uh, what, an, what an amazing thing it must be to have that much music in your house. You know, Jasmine used to be my percussion student, so hi, Jazzy. Now, do you remember Ping Ping and Bam Bam and High Low? 
Now we're going to teach you a couple more. Okay, the first one is rolls, and the whole piece later when we play kitchen concerto, the whole piece starts with rolls, like this. Can you do that? That's good. Okay, and then we're going to roll on one, like this, and then another one, and then a different one, and then a different one. And so that's how the piece starts with these rolls, okay? Then the very next section, we're going to just play with our fingers and play quietly so we can hear all the other instruments that are going on. Your parents will like this part because you'll be playing quietly, yes. So let's try that with our fingertips. Or you can play fingernails too. Cool, so just explore the sounds that you have and find things that sound cool, okay? So we've got ping, ping, bam, bam, high, low, rolls, fingers. But you know what? We've got a whole big like kitchen drum set right now, right? Why don't we take this opportunity to just play a big rockin' kitchen drum solo, okay? I'll go first and then it'll be your turn. Your turn. Go for it. Wait, parents, if you don't have any pots and pans, then you should drum on your knees as well. Here we go. Go for it. All right, that was great. I hope that was as much fun as I think it might be. Well, we'll be, ba we'll be back to talk a little bit more about Kitchen Concerto soon. Back to you, Karen. Those are cool sounds, and it is fun to explore ways that you can make music. Did you know that right next to the Orpheum Theater, we have the VSO School of Music, where kids and adults of all ages can study music? Let us introduce you to some of our friends from the VSO School of Music's Ensemble Sinfoniera. This is Dawe, Kai, and Catherine. Hi, I'm Kai, and I play the violin. I'm Catherine, and I also play the violin. And I'm Dawe, and I also play the violin. All three of us play in Sinfonietta, a string orchestra. Don't worry, it's not all violins. In fact, last year we played a really cool piece, Symphonic Dances from Bernstein's West Side Story, which involved a large percussion ensemble, so there were suddenly a lot more instruments in the orchestra. Today, we'll share with you one of the funnest dances within that suite, the mambo. But first, what's the music about, and what went on behind the scenes? West Side Story is based on the story of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, so it's tragic. But there's also a lot of joy and youthful energy. It's a very chaotic piece, with many different parts and instruments, all of which play an important role. In the original musical, West Side Story is filled with huge dance numbers, including the mambo dance. Rehearsing this piece took a long time because the rhythms are really complicated. I remember spending hours trying to figure them all out. We rehearsed for a long time to get the rhythms down. One of the hardest parts was having to shout mambo loud enough. Every time we got to that part in rehearsal, we would only whisper it. We pulled it together in time for the performance you're about to see, but it took some threatening from our conductor. So feel free to join in when we shout mambo. It's when the music goes dun 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 mambo. Also, I noticed that everyone has been gathering percussion instruments. Did you want to use them now? You'll be able to see the percussionists in the performance, and if you want to play along with them, it starts with a drum roll. Or, once it gets going, find a groove. I might just dance. But let's all start with a drum roll. Ready to mambo?
Welcome back. A couple more instruments to grab. The first is a cheese grater, like this. And so you can, you can play it with a whisk, or you can play it just with a spoon, anything like that. So uh, repeat after me. If you don't have a cheese grater yet, just repeat after me by clapping. Okay, here we go. All right, that was good. All right, so we got a cheese grater. The next thing we need is a couple of lids for some pots, like these ones, and we're going to play them like crash cymbals. Let's just play one really good note, right, like this. Yeah, that's good, okay. So we've got some lids, we've got the cheese grater, we'll be back in a bit for a little bit more. One of our favorite places to make music with the VSO is at the beautiful Orpheum Theater in downtown Vancouver. The Orpheum was built in 1927, and it actually was used as a movie theater. Maybe some of you have been there before, and if you haven't, hopefully someday soon you can visit. We wanted to share with you a very special piece of music that features the entire Vancouver Symphony performing together on stage at the Orpheum. This is a bit of Beethoven's very famous Symphony No. 5. Welcome back. We're going to get one more instrument, or in this case, we're actually going to make the instrument. So we're going to make a pop can shaker. So first you need an empty pop can, then I'm going to use a funnel so that I don't get rice everywhere. And then we're going to pour some rice into the shaker. Uncooked rice is better than cooked rice. For, for this, right? Okay. And then the important part here is you've got to cover up the hole with some tape, right? So use quite a bit of tape 
so that you really, really cover up the hole. Otherwise, you will get rice everywhere, and that will be bad. Okay, and then what have you got? You've got a shaker. That's pretty good, right? I mean, you can shake all sorts of things that you can also just find in the kitchen, like this. I don't know, how about this one? Okay, that's not so good. But use your imagination and just find things that sound good, like, like this one. Oh yeah, that's good, right? What's that? Spicy pepper medley. Ooh, okay. So you've got shakers, we're ready to go. There's one spot in the piece where it's kind of like flamenco castanets, and you're just gonna go Wah! Let's try that together, are you ready? That's great, okay? So watch for that in the piece. And then in the rest of the piece, if you wanna pick up a shaker, go for it. If you wanna be playing chopsticks, go for it. There will be instructions on the screen, but you can also feel free to just have fun and go for it, okay? So, we'll be back for the kitchen concerto pretty soon. Oh, hey. Listen, I really hope you will all come visit us at the Orpheum once we're able to have live concerts again. In the meantime, check out the VSO Virtual Learning Hub for lots of fun activities like a virtual field trip and meet the maestro. Now, after this next piece, you might feel inspired to write your own kitchen concerto. Is anybody already making plans? If you do make a kitchen concerto, we'd love for your parents to send us a 30-second video clip and we can string them all together and make a super music video of all of the incredible music ideas coming from you. Now, are you ready? Over to you, Vern. This piece is called Kitchen Concerto. And it's a piece that I wrote recently to be part of my kids show with orchestra called Wall to Wall Percussion. Now you may have seen this in November. The VSO did six concerts of it um, for thousands of kids at the Orpheum. So maybe you already saw this piece, but this time you get to jam along if you want. Now there's a story that goes with this piece and the story is as follows. You know how sometimes your parents are a little grumpy in the morning before they've had their coffee? And then they have their coffee and things are just a little perkier after that, right? Well, that's what this piece is about. Now, there's a section in the middle that I didn't write. It's written by Tchaikovsky and it's beautiful. And so we're going to stop jamming and just listen to that section. And then we'll be right back in after that, though, with our chopsticks again. Okay, cool. You know, I think it's time maybe we should tune the orchestra. Oh, here's Nick. Maestro, uh, how are you today? Don't talk to me. I haven't had my coffee yet. Okay. Well, uh, everybody, grab your chopsticks. This is Kitchen Concerto.
Way to go, everyone. That was fantastic. Thank you so much to my colleagues for playing this piece, and thank you to all of you for jamming along. That was great. So we do really miss playing for you at the Orpheum, but we know that we will be back there soon, and we hope that you find some really cool musical adventures to keep you busy while you're at home, and we'll see you soon. Okay, thanks so much. <laughs>